Ah, oh, siblings. Whether you have a brother or a sister, they can get annoying. And one of the most iconic brothers in Among Us is No Visor and Yes Visor. No Visor is an evil brother who is always up to no good. And Yes Visor is like that sibling that gets straight A's and is treated better than his brother. These two siblings have been going at it, always arguing and fighting until it went too far. I actually got to witness these brothers fighting, which caused me to be blown off into space, just like Team Rocket. But a question that I've been wanting to answer is what happened to Yes Pfizer? And before we get any further into this video, if you enjoy my content and want to see more, let's try to hit our like goal of 30,000 likes. That way I know that you want to see more videos like this. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more of my story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. You are always welcome to be part of the Chari family. But now, let's begin with this story video. So ever since No Visor and Yes Visor blasted me off into space, my game hasn't been the same. As you can see, I no longer have my antenna, which I'm assuming I lost due to the blast. And ever since that day, I haven't seen No Visor or Yes Visor. They could be dead or alive, I'm not entirely sure. I was now in the game, and I went over to communications. And this is a location that I saw both of them fight. And then the explosion happened, and I was sent into space. I decided to ignore my thoughts. Sometimes thinking about something for too long can drive you crazy. I got into a lobby that is gonna direct me to Polis. Polis has always been a map that just fascinates me. The map is massive and so mysterious. It was also the map that I encountered Murray. But then yes, Pfizer joined my lobby. I thought you were dead. After that explosion that sent me off into space, and I lost my antenna, I haven't seen Yes Visor or No Visor ever since. We were now in the game, but I was just so confused on why Yes Visor was here. He was electrocuted with No Visor. Shouldn't he be dead? I wanted to have happy thoughts inside my head, but the lights turned off, so I made my way over there with the rest of the crewmates. It was maybe eight of us, and when I walked out, I found a body. But it isn't your typical body that you find in Among Us. I told the crewmates, wait what? Aren't we all there? And I agree with Grey, how did no one see the kill? We were all there. Green was then blaming me, and everyone was really confused. I was fixing lights and I walked out. A lot of people saw me, but people were accusing me. They kept going and going, calling me all sorts of names. But how would I even do it if I was there with all of you? But I was still being accused. And luckily I wasn't ejected, but I did have a lot of votes. Now that I was back in the game, I wanted to avoid everyone. I'm just gonna do my task. I'm just really confused on how nobody saw anything. We were all there. They should have been caught, unless the player just died on their own. I then walked into electrical, and I found Yes Pfizer. He was just staring at the electrical equipment, the electrical boxes. I didn't know what he was doing, but the lights turned off. I find that quite suspicious, but it could just be a coincidence. But then I walked out of electrical and I found a body, really close to the first one that I found earlier. Banana then saw me next to the body, and he was accusing me. But I just don't understand, he walked in from that direction when that was an electrical. How did he not see it? Are the bodies just invisible? I couldn't convince them that it wasn't me. So I told them, if you want to be a clown, vote for me. And I guess I was playing with the whole circus, because I got ejected. But then I was stuck on a black screen, and I glitched to the lobbies. This time I was in a lobby all by myself, that I created. And the moment I set the lobby to public, Yes Visor was the first one to join. And he sent me a message. I have to look for him. I let him escape. What are you talking about? I let my brother escape. No visor? Don't you remember? Oh yes, I do remember when you blasted me off the airship. Yes Visor then told me something that I didn't expect. I tried to stop No Visor, Chari. He is coming for you. I am here to protect you, but you have to listen to me. Okay, what must I do? I need you to help me get even more powerful. Now tell me, why should I help you? Yes, Pfizer. Do you wanna die? Not exactly, no. Okay then, I need you to come into electrical with me. I wanna do an experiment. 
For some reason, yes, Pfizer sent me to another lobby with him. I'm assuming it's because he didn't want the other people to follow us. This must be a top secret plan. We were now in the game and I spawned in the main hall, since it's the closest location to electrical. So I entered electrical and I looked around. Where is Yes Pfizer? Oh, there he is. He made it. Since there isn't any way to communicate with Yes Pfizer, I'm just gonna see what he's doing. And he was standing right next to the electrical box. And that is when I saw electricity come out from the tube that is found right next to him. Yes, Pfizer is messing with the electricity. Maybe that's why I saw him in Polis at electrical. The lights to the airship then turned off, which I'm assuming was from the electrical current that came out. I'm just gonna see what he ends up doing. So I followed him throughout all of electrical and he was doing his experiment. I don't know why Yes, Pfizer is checking the electricity. Does he want to take some from the airship or what does he want to do? And then Yes Pfizer randomly killed Brown. I'm just gonna assume that his experiment is over. Yes Pfizer then said, you saw that Chari? The electricity or the body? The electricity. My power then went off, which was most likely caused by Yes Pfizer and his experiment. My screen was now back on, and it was me and Yes Pfizer. Yes Pfizer sent me another message. I need you to do what I just did. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't have your powers. And I guess Yes Pfizer didn't want to respond to me. He was just silent. But if I want Yes Pfizer's help, I have to listen to him. We're gonna get into the game and we're gonna get this done. The closest place to electrical was Anjan, so I spawned there and I made my way over to electrical. I quickly got to work. I stood next to the electrical box, and yes, Pfizer went down the ladders and was looking at me. I'm just gonna assume that this is what he wants me to do. Now that I got this done, I need to be right next to the electric containers, since I'm pretty sure that is what yes, Pfizer did. I followed every single step up until I made it to the center of electrical. I stood in the corner, and my body released this charge that was so big that it covered my screen. I never had this ability. Yes, Pfizer must have gave it to me. I then shot Yes, Pfizer, which caused him to disappear. My screen was then flashing over and over and was glitching. Something was approaching me. A white ghost then appeared in front of me. He was all chained up and had electrostatics all over his body. It was Yes Pfizer! Now I know why he wanted all this power! He wanted to be strong enough to take down No Visor's second form! Yes Pfizer did nothing to me. All he did was just vanish. He's going after No Visor, and he's gonna try to stop him. If you would like to know what happened next, let's try to get this video to 30,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you want to support a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And also if you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other manga story videos that I found on my channel.